This is code.org. HTML list. Awesome. Create a bulleted list. Ah, we got this. My students make sure to do both of these. Keep in mind, this stuff is appearing on the page, so you need it in between the body tag and the slash closing body tag. All of our stuff needs to go between these two tags. Not up here, not over in here. Right here, in between body and slash body. So, they already have stuff here. Look how the UL, which, by the way, guys, uh, oh, do they tell us? Look at how the given code creates an unordered list. Now, when you hear unordered list in HTML, you need to think bullet points. Ordered lists have numbers. That's it. It doesn't do anything fancy with them. I kind of wish it did. But again, unordered zoop, bullet. And what they mean by unordered, there's the tag for the unordered list. Here is the close tag for an unordered list. Now, not to get too confusing, but that's unordered. If I put an O here, now I have to go fix the closing tag, and an O, kwapow. Now it's a numbered list or an ordered list. I'm going to switch that back. But to create a list in HTML, always, 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 you need dose things. A UL or an OL and then LI on each line. LI stands for list item. So this list has cereal as an item, eggs as an item, waffles as an item. And then at the beginning of my list on line eight for this, I say I need it unordered. And that's why this is bullet points. If I do something like this, I'm just going to real quick do a control C for copy, control V. It might, hey, Mr. Kaiser, this has a bullet. It works fine. No, that's not how you do a list. To have a list, you need it inside of, and you see what I mean, a UL and a UL, slash UL for an ordered list. And then every tiny little item is wrapped in these LI tags. LI, closing LI, open LI, close LI. Each item, every line needs those. Whether you want numbers for O L slash O L or bullets, it doesn't matter for the list. Every item on it has to have an L I. All that being said, tags are created. Use U L and L I tags to create your own. Oh, desserts. Oh, sweet. So now I'm going to start with my U L tag because that's what they asked on order. I'm going to actually hit enter twice right now and do a less than sign slash, and this is a forward slash. It's near the letter M and L next to the shift key. It's not a backslash, and I'm going to do slash UL. Otherwise, I forgot to close these. Now I'm going to go up a line, so I'm in between my two, and this is where I can do an LI tag in my item. Honestly, because I forget a lot, I'm going to go ahead and do LI, boom, and right away I'm going to close this slash LI, right? And I'm going to do this again, because I'll say I'll put three items. Boom. And I'm going to hit enter and again, LI and then a closing tag. So slash LI. And what I have here is a greater than sign, the letter L, the letter I, which stands for list item, by the way, greater than tag. And then this is where my content goes. So my favorite desserts, I'm just cookies. I'm going to be boring. Ice cream and uh, cupcakes. I, I, I don't know. But now, now it will all be nice. And it will all get get into an order and a style that we want. And this is why it's really important to have opening and closing tags. And again, lists are kind of annoying. They're going to be frustrating. At least they are for most. They are for me. You need two whole separate things. You need one thing, UL or OL, open, close around every single item on the list. And then uh, under, I mean, around the entire list. And then on each line of the list, you need an open and closing LI. All right, let's keep going. Oop, and is this, yep, an ordered list, which I was just saying, guys, an ordered list just means a numbered list. All right, use OL and LI tags to structure this content into an ordered list. So once again, for a list, you always have to have two different types of tags. OL slash, and I, I'm going to do what I did before. I put one here. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom because I know this needs to be all in the list. And maybe on line 13, I'm going to do a less than sign and a slash OL. Now, all that does is say to the computer, hey, I'm going to put a list for me since I did OL on line 7 and slash OL or forward slash OL on line 13. All it tells the computer is in between line 7 and 13, there's going to be stuff on a list. I have nothing on a list thus far. I've only told the computer, hey, there's going to be stuff on a list. To put stuff on that list, I'm going to start at line 8, and I'm going to do a li tag, 
And then at the end of line eight, after the content, after the words, I'm going to do a forward slash li tag. And every single thing I want on the list, I have to do an li, and then at the end of it, slash li. So line not eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 all need these li and a closing li tag. And again, you have to use li inside of the list, but it's not a proper list unless you have the ol tag outside of it. ol is an ordered list. It doesn't order things, it just makes numbers. So right now I have my ol tag on 7 and 13. All the lines in between have li closing li tags. And just to show you what I mean, again, ol is ordered list. If I do a ul, which is unordered, all I change is that. I already have li on everything. Boom. Bullets. But we do want it ordered, so I'm going to change it back and kwapow onward.